Good night, folks. How you doing tonight? It's me, the Jamaican Platinum. <laughs> Haven't been around in a while, man. Me and Steve, well, we've been uh, pretty busy, busy guys. And now we're here to bless you guys. Get the hell out of my We're with nhs.com, I N Y A C H E S T.com. That's Ebonics. Real people, real issues, real answers, real reality. Um, you know the spiel. Just send me. If you have any questions you'd like us to answer, send it to nhs at gmail.com. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter uh, at he makes sense, and that's uh, you ask for. What topic are we bringing in today? Um, we want to talk about women and their weight. Okay, yeah. That's, that's yeah, let's talk about that. Okay, we have a concern. We, me, 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 me and Horace got into a little uh, powwow on the phone about why is it so hard for women to lose weight? Um, I don't think it's hard for women to lose weight. I think it's a mental thing because they always come with different excuses like, oh, my period on. Or, oh, it's a, oh, it's, it's a known scientific fact that it's harder for women to lose weight than men. Um, no, it's not. It's just that you guys don't really have the will sometimes, okay? Because a lot of times your man or your husband will just lie to you and say, yeah, you know, honey, you look just fine. You know why? Because he don't want to hurt your feelings. I'll tell you what, honey, if you with me, I will be honest with you. Did you tell that baby that the dress look too tight? Yes, it does. Okay? <laughs> it does look too tight. I mean, it's harsh, but guess what? I'm the type of guy, Steve, that I actually go work out with you. You want to go walk with me, baby? Let's go walk. Okay? If I see you eating an extra hot dog, I'm slapping out your head. You know, <laughs> you know, one is enough. Yeah, exactly. One is enough. You know, it's all about moderation, man. So a lot of times, when women, you know, they, they try to find the excuses like, oh, you know, you know, I, I get home from work late, I got to study, the kids, you know, I have the time. They find any excuse to make themselves feel better. And I, I, it's a cop up. It's a cop up. I totally agree. Uh, I have a couple of pet peeves. Uh, the first one is, uh, you know, when you nag about your weight, oh. and then I catch you eating a Twinkie. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I, I try to talk you out of it, and you, you know, your excuses to me is that uh, it's your period. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of cravings, you know. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna start my uh, my diet next week. It's the baby. I'm <laughs> ready. I'm gonna start my diet in three days. Oh yeah. For the for the past three hundred sixty five days. Oh, uh, and I can't stand when they when they get sucked into this. Oh, new new change, new year, new me, girl. Let's all join the gym together, man. That first two weeks, and they going like strong. Man. What, what about oh? What about what about when, when, when oh, it, it, it's hard for us to want to lose weight, but they, they said their mind so, so so vigorous and strong, hitting it hard in the first two weeks in the gym, man, and they lose a couple pounds, like, oh, they don't bring up that, that excuse then, because you see the results. Mm -hmm. You know, lost two pounds, oh, what about, the, what about your, your, uh, your theories about, oh, it's so hard for us to lose weight, we just lost two, three pounds. Uh -huh. You know the gyms, I believe, I think the gyms, for, for the first month of the year, they should charge, like, double the price, then they can get away with it, you know? Just charge, uh, like LA Fitness, you should charge 32 bucks, and hit them with 54 bucks. Because you know they're going to just they jump on it because of their New Year's resolution. New, resolution. new me, girl. Yeah, and then they fall off after a month and a half. You know, and then you, you come home, and they just like sitting there and acting funny. Like, what's wrong, baby? Nothing. You know, and then, and then you got to, you know, you don't want to make them feel bad, but then it's like, just like you said, they can't wear the same clothes they used to wear anymore, all right? Now they feel bad that they gotta they gotta buy new clothes because the other clothes don't fit anymore. You know what I mean? So it's like you gotta console them and you feel bad about it. But then later on in the night, you know, you eating two bowls of um, Hagen Dazs. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's going on here? What do you, what do you want? What do you want from me? I'm <laughs> telling you what's, what's, what you have to do. But you going against it. But you know what? I think it's us men. Us men gotta put our foot down and say, hey, baby, you get out of control. You're an ultimatum. We, we have responsibility too, to, to all sort of other the best as we can. Put them all in both courts, man. You know, put a little pressure on them. Apply a little pressure, man. And then, you know what? Uh, you know, applying the pressure, um, I guess that can work a little bit too. Well, another thing is um, when they start performing differently, intimately, because they don't feel sexy. Ah, uh, good one, Steve. Yeah, you know, I've, I've heard that. That happens, man. I heard that. They don't feel sexy anymore. Yeah, they don't want to, they want, yeah, they, yeah, 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 great point. After you hit her out of there, buddy, they don't, they don't feel confident anymore. The they, they don't want to leave the shirt on. They don't want to leave the shirt on halfway out. Like, what the hell is going on? I'll take it out of the line. It's, uh, it's cold. No, it's not. It's fine. You're absolutely right, man. Instead of doing like 20, 30 positions that night, you do 
do like three, a couple of three, because they don't want you to see the little fat on the side of the, <laughs> the little fudge, you know? You know, it's like, it's, it's us men, man. We got to tell them, like, hey, put it on tomato, man. You want to know if your, if your woman's uh, guilty of that symptom? Uh, just take, like, a, uh, I guess a photography with her. Yeah, you see that hand slides partially in front of her stomach? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. but picture? <laughs> that's, that's one signal that she's uncomfortable with her weight. Or she, or she turns to the side and use the shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cover the eye, uh, yeah. the, 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 the juice right yeah. <laughs> The shoulder, the shoulder, the, the twister, that's a twister waist. That's a twister waist. <laughs> Yo, what about so, that is so, that's, oh my goodness. Just look at the photography, man. You can tell me on Facebook. You see a lot of high, high, high up shots. The whole like, shots? High, high in your angle shots. Really? Yeah, that's, that's the new one. Yeah. Oh. That's when the girls were really, really at a, uh, level of uh, obesity, they, they like headshots like this up in the air now, and it helps, I, I, it just kind of gives an illusion, you know? Oh my goodness, man. It's, all, it's us guys too, man, because you know what's, the, you know what's the, the, uh, the, the little mental thing that's fucking, fucking up the woman? Oh girl, you look thick. No, you, you fat. <laughs> and then they get in their mind like, oh, I'm thick, because you know, oh, guys like it thick. No, guys like it when you're in shape, okay? That's unhealthy. There's a difference between thick, thick. There's a fine line between thick, thick and, and fat. fat. Yes, it's a very fine line. Okay, <laughs> you you look unhealthy. If you if you if you thick, and I see you actually working out, you know what I'm saying? You actually see what the fuck wrong with this dog, man? <laughs> if you thick and I see you working out, or you just look like you, your body tight and ain't like you know, like jello. You know, because sometimes you know, you, you know when I used to like you know. Give back shots, you know, it used to be like a nice firm bounce on the pelvic. Now when I'm getting back shots, it's like that. <laughs> the hands are thick like that. But, yeah, it's like a tight, it's like a tight thick. It's cut from a lot of starch. Really? Yeah. From oh, LSD? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's from a lot of starch. Really? You think that's what it's for? Yeah, when I was in the Bahamas, they eat a lot of like rice, potatoes, pasta, all in one place together, and meat. And minimal to no vegetables. They don't do the vegetables. Yeah, excuse me, man. My dog is uh, entertaining the guest. You can tell that dog is an exercise, man. <laughs> Jump his ass off. But I never thought about that. But yeah, it's a fine line between thick and fat. Uh, like, like I said, I'm not. Like I said, I'm not here to judge anybody, but if, if I'm with somebody, I'm going to be honest with them. You know, if, if you want to ask me how I look in this dress, I'm going to tell you, I mean, it, 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 you look juicy. I'm going to be honest, you know. Maybe that'll help you, but don't ask me because I'm going to tell you, you know. I'm not saying I want to date a thick girl, you know what I'm saying, but my preference, I just, I just like somebody that I want to be physically attracted to every time I see them. Vice versa, I'm sure you will have the same thing. It's a shame that freaking when it comes to clothing that manufacturers have to alter the numbers to make yeah, you feel good yeah, about yeah. your weight or your, your size, yes. okay? Now, if, we, I thought, if we're using standard measuring system units of inches, you have a waist that's 31 inches, why is the manufacturer uh, saying that you're, it's the number of the jeans is 27, which really represents a 31? And that is trickery. What about vanity sizes, you know? Yeah, that's another thing, vanity sizes. It could be an uh, extra large, uh, triple, a uh, double XL shirt, but in vanity sizes, you're a large, medium large. I mean, come on now. It, it, it's, it's all, it's all to, to, to make the woman feel better. Period. But, but the, the size, the size is part of the problem. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna make you feel good about your weight, and then we're gonna laugh at you behind your back. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. make you feel good about your weight, then on top of that, now we're gonna uh, put skinny models in our clothes on, make you want it. Yeah. We're gonna empower you, support you. Good. Yeah. Great points, Steve. I can't argue with that. I mean, make valid points. I just, want, I just want you to let people to be healthy, man. Healthy, eat right. You know, not, not say you gotta eat like a vegan or anything like that, but I mean, damn, man. Right? If you just finished a whole meal, you know, and you actually full, there's no need for you to go get a damn latte and and uh, and them um, Hagen Dazs and fucking cookies and baking cookies 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> when is that last time you have to go to bed? Is it, okay. is it possible to be overweight and healthy? No. Somebody <laughs> argued that before, like, oh, I'm a big girl, but I, I, I'm healthy. What is health? Because you're not dead yet? What, that's, that's what she <laughs> mean? Because I don't understand how you can be overweight 
and healthy. Is somebody actually trying to make a valid point for that? Yes. So, wow. Did you see the uh, video they have on YouTube of the uh, the obese girl that's on a stripper pole? No, I, I, yeah. would, I, would, I would not see that. <laughs> I, I would see that. So, a lot of women like that are making great examples that, you know, for other women of um, the larger size, that, you know, we, we can do things like uh, skinny girls, you know, or... Was that, was that poem about the test of the beef, or was it just like the... the yeah, it was, it was the test of the foundation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. The test of the foundation. I don't, you know, I don't want to see that video. I'll pass. Jesus Christ. All right, well, um, that's all I got to say about that. Too much with this. We got a couple other more videos to check out. But um, guys, uh, we're back. Sorry we took so long. We've been uh, really tired of the other adventures. You know, that's the man right there, Steve. I'm Oris. And uh, you can check us out. Uh, you can send us uh, any questions or anything you want to say to us on ehs at gmail.com. You can check us out on Twitter. Uh, Steve's on the He Makes Sense. I'm on the uh, UX for it. And um, also, uh, if you got any questions for anything you want to ask us about, just send it to our, our 